this is my garage door and it's pretty boring for Halloween so I wanted to try making a garage facade so I did a uh, mock-up of what I wanted it to look like and I just used Photoshop and this is the final product now all of this is made with just foam and wood the rivets are actually uh, button uh, wood plugs uh, that you can get at the hardware store and uh, I just use monster mud and a paintbrush to kind of give a textured finish and um, you know used a, a couple of different faux finishing techniques um, some stain uh, dry brushing and uh, I think it came out pretty good um, and I have a night shot uh, coming up here oh these big bolts I just carved out of foam using a the foam knife, the hot wire foam factory foam cutting knife. That's what it looks like at night. Now I thought about making four separate panels and just connecting them together, but one of the doors on the monster doors, the one on the right, actually opens in. So in order to accomplish that, I had to make a header. And I also wanted to make a header because the reveal on the top, as you can see there, is not that big. The reveal on the sides, however, is quite a bit bigger, so it just made me feel more comfortable that it was going to be more secure. Believe it or not, the, this entire thing is made without any uh, nails or screws into the home. It's all freestanding. It just locks into place. So I made a header here, you can see. Just used some glue and some plywood. And then, uh, you know, I was very careful to make sure I had leveled everything. You can see how um, the 2x4 will lock into place there. And then I put 2x4s on the top, as you can see there, so it locks into place on the top for the reveal. And the header isn't uh, heavy duty. There's not going to be a ton of weight on there. I'm just using a pretty thin uh, OSB uh, plywood there. Um, but you can see I did double it up, and uh, that uh, shows you with the, the studs. Now, this is the LED lighting that you saw in the night shot. It goes all the way around the uh, garage facade, and it's, uh, the lighting itself is hidden, so you just see the glow. Now, these are just some more shots from the inside. You can see how much more real estate this gives me. It gives me another uh, almost two feet of uh, space for my haunted house. And... Um, I'll post another video of the how the door operates and, and then what the inside of it looks like. But this is kind of some uh, before and after photos here. And this is what it looks like with all my foam bricks attached and uh, my trim work that I used just by cutting out strips of foam. Of course, when I can hold the camera, I can kind of do some... Uh, more of a how-to or tutorial on how I accomplish some of this stuff. So I'm just using a um, Forstner bit to, and using just my hand to um, drill out kind of a little bit of a hole for these, uh, these wood plugs. Um, you can buy these at Lowe's or Home Depot. Um, these particular ones I bought at uh, Lowe's. That's what they look like in the package. Some of them have, are um, a, a lot deeper than others, so um, these worked out well because they're pretty deep, so it's really going to give me a lot of glue surface. And I'm just using um, caulking. I like to use that instead of hot glue because then I can kind of run my finger around the, um, the button uh, to make sure it's all sealed in there nice and tight. Because again, this is on the outside of the house. And uh, that's me just smoothing out the, uh, the caulking there as best I can. And notice the door lock um, is just made out of wood. And this is just another overall shot here of uh, the almost finished facade just prior to painting. You can see the styrofoam bolts. See how I, I rounded the edges? I just used sandpaper to do that. It makes it look more believable that it's a bolt. The overall shot before painting, and to paint it, I just mixed up some monster mud, 
I've used kind of a rusty red color and then used a spray bottle and a paintbrush to do some stippling of just a couple of different colors, uh, like a brown and then a really uh, a different shade of uh, red. You can really use any technique that you want. I also used a stain. I found a discount stain for like $3 called Autumn Mahogany, and that was at Lowe's. You can see the difference between the right and the left. On uh, the right was after applying the stain. And when I have someone available to take some footage for me, I'll post it up here. So this is just some footage of me airbrushing, just using some black. And I'm going around the rivets and all of the seams of the door and the cracks and the locks and everything just to make everything pop. And you'll see, um, if you look at the overall shot again, that uh, airbrushing that black, you could use a spray paint if you wanted to. It really makes everything pop. And I finished it with dry brushing some silver. So hopefully that gives you some uh, inspiration for your garage door for this Halloween. Thanks for watching.